So let's dig a little deeper with a pastor who toured one of those border facilities in question. President of the National Hispanic Christian Leadership Conference, Reverend Samuel Rodriguez. Sir, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. Okay, so you've heard what various members of Congress have said. Uh, Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez is pushing back tonight against those who are questioning her. She says, the right is responding to what's been exposed at the border by denying it and saying, I'm lying. Hard to assert when the details I shared are corroborated by other members of Congress, court documents, migrant testimony, and now photos released today by the Inspector General. So, Reverend, what did you see there? Shannon, I must be living in a parallel universe somewhere. As a devoted Trekkie, uh, there must be some sort of, you know, breach in the space-time continuum. I went this past Friday. I visited the controversial center in Clint, Texas, outside the outskirts of El Paso. I was driven by the same news stories that you and I both read, uh, compelled and driven by compassion and a concern for these migrant children. I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. I'm a Christian committed to righteousness and justice. So I was driven, compelled. I called the White House and I asked for access and they granted it. I went there. I was not restricted at all as, as it pertains to what I could ask or where I could go. Here's what I discovered. I found kids created in the image of God, and I found Border Patrol agents created in the image of God working together in a very difficult environment. I did not find soiled diapers. I did not find crying children. I did not find deplorable conditions. Quite the opposite. I found amazing people on both sides trying to make a very difficult circumstance better. So I don't know where everyone else is visiting. I spoke to the Border Patrol agents, the vast majority of which, by the way, are Latino. And many of them attend the churches that are part of our network. And I asked, hey, guys, did you stage this? Did you guys flip the script just to accommodate people like me? And they went, Pastor Sam, absolutely not. You are looking at the very thing that existed here for a number of weeks. So it's not that we shifted because of any deplorable conditions that were discovered. What I also discovered was that the original report, the attorneys that actually reported the soil diapers and deplorable conditions, they never, ever walked through the center. Let me repeat that. They never visited what I visited. They took that information anecdotally from interviews with children, with children, mind you, from the age of two to the age of 17. Okay. So the, tr the truth sets you free. So let's talk about what, what the inspector general, though, found. These are government inspectors from the Department of Homeland Security. They released the pictures that we're using. They are saying, this has got to stop. We need help. There is a problem there. These facilities were never made for this amount of people. Um, part of the inspector general report said senior managers at several facilities raised security concerns for their agents and the detainees. For example, one called the situation, quote, a ticking time bomb. Pastor, how do we get something done? Yep. And again, I, I won't even deny or come against whatever the inspector general reported. I visited one center. Now, in full disclosure, some of the agents were likewise expressing the angst, the consternation, and the frustration. They never signed up for this, especially when the, when the borders were in a de facto way opened up. Our asylum system, our immigration system is so broken that it becomes precarious for everyone involved. I would agree and sign off on the statement coming from the inspector general's office. We got here because Republicans and Democrats both failed miserably. We got here because Congress, Congress is playing politics with millions of individuals, with the sovereignty of our nation, and with the protection of our border. We got here because it's, it's, empathy, it's apathy. We got here because of political expediency. We need to act now. I mean, I hope and pray this Inspector General's report, but in the full balance of things, what I am completely against is condemnation, shaming, and coming against those Border Patrol agents that are trying their best to make a very difficult circumstance better for those involved. Well, Pastor, I'm sure that you, like including me and many other people, play, pray that our, our leaders will have wisdom and compassion. This is not an easy thing to solve, but they've got to come together regardless of party and fix it. Pastor, In thank Jesus you. In Jesus' name, thank you. All right, new tonight, a federal judge has blocked a Trump administration policy that would keep asylum seekers detained. That policy, announced by the Attorney General in April, would deny a bond hearing to asylum seekers with a credible fear of persecution uh, if returned to the places they fled. That lawsuit was filed by the ACLU and other immigrants' rights advocates. No word yet if the administration will appeal it.